Oh, hey there neighbor, how's it going today? I'm just out here taking a look at my tomatoes to make sure I don't have any diseases or insects, but I could use your help, so why don't you come on up here because you can't see from way down there. To grow the best tomatoes, you have to know if there are any issues going on, and to figure that out, you have to get up close and personal and take a close look. Like, are you having an environmental issue? Too much water, too little water, too much or too little fertility? Is it a disease like fungus or a virus? Is it an insect or is it another issue? You have to get up close and take a look to see what's going on. For example, I saw some wilting leaves on my tomatoes, got up close and personal, and found that they had spider mites. So I did a spider mite treatment, and they're doing much better now. And we can do the same for your garden. We just have to get up and take a closer look and figure out what's going on. In our short time together, I'm not going to be able to tell you every disease and how to treat it, but I can give you some general guidelines for the basic problems of tomatoes and start you down the path of treatment. In general, the most common thing you'll find on tomatoes are fungal diseases, and you see those in a lot of spots. We have septoria leaf spot and black spot. We have early blights and late blights and all those things. The most common thing you'll see are the spots on those, and each spot has a different symptom so you can help diagnose those, and you can get help diagnosing those if you need. But you want to start off by removing all the affected leaves because those help it spread. So you want to remove all of the signs of disease and then start some sort of treatment. You can use an organic like copper or you can use something called Serenade, which is a new product that's bacteria based that helps disease sp from spreading. You're not going to cure the disease. Your goal is to help keep it from spreading to the rest of the plant. For insects, you look for signs of damage like missing plant parts, holes in leaves, or even some of the sap-sucking insects, you'll have brown spots where they're feeding. Or of course, if you see the insect there, you know what's going on and you wanna do some sort of treatment. So an organic treatment for a caterpillar-like pest like the tomato hornworm would be Bt, or you can use something general for all insects. We have pyrethrum and pyrethroids. Uh, we also have something that is called spinosad, which is a newer product on the market that helps with a wide variety of insects, and it's also organic. That's what I use to treat my flea beetles. There are also environmental issues that can affect your tomatoes that aren't caused by a disease or an insect, but by things like too much or too little rain, which causes root damage and you get wilting, or you can also get that blossom end rot that we've talked about with the damage on the bottom of tomatoes. You can also get sun scald, which will discolor your tomatoes. There's all kinds of different things that will affect tomatoes, so it can be a little bit confusing. So the take home lesson today is that we've got to get up close and personal and take a look at those tomatoes to see exactly what's going on because we want to know what's going on so we can have the most effective treatment. And that can be daunting sometimes, so you need to call Backyard Farmer or consult your local extension office. That's fine. They can help you diagnose those problems and offer treatment.